Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel and I have another video here for you on the save battery best settings segment, specifically with the ROG Ally playing Diablo 4. In my prior videos, I have leveraged the Universal x86 tuning utility. However, in this video, I am taking a different approach and instead going to leverage the AMD Radeon Chill technology within the AMD driver 24.3.1 that was customized and released by Asus for the Ryzen Z1 and Z1 Extreme on the ROG Ally. Additionally, I will leverage settings in Armory Crate version 1.413.0 through the game profile for Diablo 4 and the quick access menu. Finally, I will also make some adjustments in the Diablo 4 game settings. Also, if you like seeing the ROG Ally on a kickstand, as I have shown in video footage here, you will want to check out the ROG mod case from Handheld DIY. Make sure to check out my video with the starting title, Use Turbo Mode, with a new DIY backplate for your ROG Ally 2023 on installing it so to get 10% off of your purchase. Let's now jump into getting your Ally tuned to play some Helltides in the latest Season 4 as of making this video in Diablo 4. All right, so I have my ROG Ally 2023 in front of me, and I am going to open up the AMD Adrenaline software. I'm just going to hold down my finger here and then select the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, and I'm going to be brought into the gaming area of AMD Adrenaline. And before me, I have my games installed. We're going to be working with the Diablo 4 game for this video, so I'm going to select Diablo 4. And looking down, scrolling down here, my gaming experience is set as custom, and this is going to be set as custom just based on enabling the Radeon Chill feature here. So I have that enabled, and I have set my minimum FPS and my maximum FPS. And my minimum FPS is going to be set at 30. My maximum FPS is going to be set at 40. This determines a range when playing Diablo 4, as you're going to see in the gameplay throughout this video, that the frame rate is going to vary between 30 and 40. You are going to see that during motion, based on how the Radeon Chill technology is designed, that the frame rate is going to be higher, closer to 40, whereas when sitting idle or just resting, it's going to be closer to 30. All right. So we have gone through the AMD Adrenaline settings for this. So I'm going to minimize that or I can close it out as well. And then what I wanna do is I want to open Armory Crate. And we are going to go into the game configuration within Armory Crate. So I'm just going to select this one, but before I press A, I just am going to select X instead to go into the game profile. And I'm going to go down to configuration, just using the direction pad here, I'm going to select A. And I want to keep the operating mode DC because again, we are not plugged in for this. The idea is to save battery and not have to plug in when on the go. I'm going to set this as unassigned. And the reason I am going to set this as unassigned is I want to be able to leverage the manual mode for playing this game. And that is specifically going to be the operating mode here. Right now it's set at manual 15 watt. And we can actually go here. I just had to return to it. We're going to set the SPL, the SPPT and the FPPT. And I have this set at 16 watt and I have the SPPT and FPPT as well set to 16 watt. We are going to see that the APU wattage drawn is actually going to vary around 10 to 12 watts. So we're going to stay very low for this using the Radeon Chill technology that we have enabled within AMD Adrenaline. So with that out of the way, we now can go into the game. So actually I'll just return here to Armory Crate and then select A and we are going to load the game. So we'll let this load. 
And I'll actually go ahead, I'll put on my overlay here. And we do see that the chill technology is enabled in the adrenaline overlay that just came up on the right hand side of the screen. So let me get the box view here. So loading into the game, just take a moment here. And we are going to go into options for Diablo 4. And we are in graphics right now. And most of this is just set at default as it would. But the specific area that I have changed is scrolling down here. We're going to go down to performance. The resolution scaling originally was left as FSR enabled. But because we are targeting a lower frame rate, the FSR or any upscaling technology is actually not needed. So we can improve our resolution as far as just keeping the original resolution of this game, which is going to be 720p. And that 720p we can actually set here within the quick access menu for Armory Crate. As you can see, I have HD 720p resolution here for that just the hd symbol that is showing there is what i mean by that but 720p resolution so we're keeping that there and this was left at default excuse me here for resolution percentage and other settings here the max foreground fps and max background fps are inconsequential here just because we're using the radeon chill technology and that is going to override whatever we would have set here for our quality preset i just have this set at low the reason i have this set at low is this is going to allow for the frame rate target to be better achieved especially in reaching at the 40 range when we are moving around in the game so during your action scenes and whatnot fighting in the hell tie because you're going to be doing a lot of that if you are playing the new season season four as of making this video so with the quality preset set at low we have also these set at default to lower the clutter is set to medium by default for example though i just left these at the default values based on setting this at low let's take a moment also to review our quick access menu here for armory crate we i did talk about our resolution i do want to make sure that your cpu cpu boost is disabled there that is set to off we have our refresh rate set at 60 hertz as well and that is going to help us improve our battery life and with that we can now transition to going into the game so I'll just bring this up for a moment and allow you to see what the stats are here based on the overlay that I have with CPU clock speed, GPU clock speed, temp, battery, etc. So just sitting here right now, we're just moving around. This is going to be a, just a general first impression based on the other video that you're going to see throughout. So just moving around here, and I'm, I'm going to dodge these enemies just so I can focus and talk at the same time. And we are looking right now, our battery is at 18.7, 18.6 wattage here. And uh, that's, that's the battery draw. Now, the APU wattage, that is going to be lower, as I mentioned and detailed earlier in the video. So... I was, tar I was saying an average of 10 to 12, looking at 11 watt right now, just as we are moving around. And again, as I'm moving around, as you can see, the frame rate, it's, it's going closer to 40. So it, it went down to 34 for a moment there, but we're, we're hitting closer to 40 as I'm moving around. Now, once I get to an area where I can rest and not be attacked by enemies, we can show a resting and it's not going to be perfect as far as you're not going to get a steady 40 as you move around but the idea based on the radeon chill technology is to have a higher frame rate when you are moving around and a lower frame rate when you are resting so again it's trying to get back up there to 40. 
So I'll sit and rest right here for a moment and see now it's dropping. It went down to 30 just by sitting. But if I move around again, let's look at our frame rate increasing to 33, 38, 39. So again, trying to keep our performance optimal for this target frame rate, but keeping our APU wattage and our battery draw lower using the Radeon Chill technology. So see, we just hit 40 there as I'm moving around and then we can rest again. So we were at 40 and we're going to drop down right back to 30. So this is great to leverage to improve our battery life and using this and playing this on the go so that we don't have to be connected to a battery source, a power source rather, as we are playing this game. And I think this game plays really well between the 30 and 40 frame rate range. And that's going to be completely preferential as some people just may not be able to, to withstand that and they need more frames. And I understand that there is that preference out there. But when you don't want to take your battery pack with you and you just want as much as you can squeeze on the go, this is a great way to be able to do so, especially in getting that hell tide time in as you are playing and want to maximize the opportunity you have in getting that hell tide time in so that you can increase your honor with the wolf cult here. And in the remaining part of the video, I'll talk more about Radeon Chill technology and allow also the opportunity to see some gameplay, especially some combat, because I've just been trying to dodge enemies right now so I can focus on talking in the video and not have to find my train of thought again. So I'll let the video continue and then talk more about the Radeon Chill technology and also the other settings as well, include some detail on that. In this part of the video, I am going to unpack the settings I have selected to give you additional details. The goal here is to decrease clock speeds to as minimal as possible while maintaining a lower frame target range, but one that is playable with the game. I have found that the AMD Radeon Chill technology allows for me to do just that with the 30 to 40 frame target range. Typically users will have this range be wider in scope, say to cover the variable refresh rate range of a display. In my case, I am more interested in keeping a narrow frame target range that is playable for Diablo 4. Let me take a moment to define the AMD Radeon Chill technology. The technology is a power saving feature that is designed to assist with saving battery by regulating frame rates based on in-game movements. During intense motion, the FPS will run higher up to the defined FPS cap, so 40 frames in this case based on the top part of the range set. However, in instances where there is no motion, the FPS will run on the lower range, so 30 frames in this case based on the lower part of the range set. We observed in the video so far that the Radeon Chill technology attempts to run the game to the higher part of the range, and there were distinctions in the frame rate when there was no motion compared to intense motion. The technology did not impeccably run the game immediately at 40 frames as soon as motion occurred, but we saw the climb and effort of the technology to do so, whether it was 35 frames or up to 40 frames. AMD states that the Radeon Chill technology is not a replacement for Frame Rate Target Control, or FRTC. However, we did see based on the range specified that the Radeon Chill technology did indeed maintain the preferred frame rate despite what was set within the game's settings. Additional usage of Radeon Chill technology at a wider range and a higher number range may demonstrate the validity of AMD's claim. Another advantage of the Radeon Chill technology is temperatures. Hence the name, our temperatures have an opportunity to stay lower. With the target frame rate set, the ROG Ally keeps temperatures below 50 degrees Celsius with a noticeable amount of the time closer to 40 degrees Celsius. The fan profile as well stays lower as a result of this allowing for a quieter gaming experience, which can help depending on what else is going on around you at the time while traveling. Let me discuss for a moment variable refresh rate. The variable refresh rate or VRR range on the ROG Ally screen is between 48 to 120 Hertz. Therefore, our target frame rate range I set within Radeon Chill is below that VRR range. 
we will not be utilizing VRR in this case despite AMD FreeSync, a VRR technology, set at default as AMD Optimize in this particular game settings for custom in AMD Adrenaline. Importantly though, we want to make sure in the quick access menu that our refresh rate is set to 60 hertz instead of 120 hertz as decreasing the refresh rate of the display with this settings will decrease the amount of total power the system is drawing from the battery separate from the APU watt is drawn, which as I indicated earlier in the video is going to be lower. Since we are using Radeon Shield technology enabled, it is counterintuitive to enable the CPU boost capability within the Armory Crate quick access menu. We do not need to boost the CPU clock speeds to help maintain our target frame range, especially when we are not using upscaling or frame generation technology, generally speaking, for this game. As we approach the conclusion of this video, let me know in the comments, are you playing Diablo 4 on the ROG Ally? And if so, then what settings are you using to save battery life? Are you leveraging AMD Radeon Shield technology? And if so, what do you like or not like about it? I look forward to reading what you have to say, including if you are enjoying Season 4 of Diablo 4 in general, or does the game still need work even with the new loot system and new Helltides format? Now that we have reached the conclusion of this video, let me share with you some important channel content you don't want to miss. Gaming for Insight is a member and one of the founders of the Handheld United Discord server and YouTube channel. You can find me and other channels you want to know about on this server. So join us on Discord, see the invite to the server in the video description. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to these other channels for additional content on gaming handheld devices and more. Those are Gamer's Generation, your friendly AI with a sense of witty humor that uploads informative reviews, tutorials, and more. OKS Gamer, you can find the latest and more than OKS reviews on gaming handhelds and benchmarks as well as videos on performance with certain drivers. CPPC Tech, known for his awesome mod on the ROG Ally, this channel has reviews and more on gaming handhelds and accessories. Windeck Tech, find candid and informative videos on gaming and the tech space with gaming handhelds and more. Handheld Hardware, formerly known as Project SBC, get the latest perspective from an astute programmer, designer, and reviewer on gaming devices. Now, wouldn't it be neat if all of these channels, including mine, all got together in one place for, say, a podcast to share our knowledge on everything handheld gaming? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. Subscribe to the Handheld United YouTube channel and don't miss our live weekly podcast that I host on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join in the live chat where you can comment on what we discuss and partake in our trivia nights. Links to the YouTube channels mentioned are in the description of this video. So with that, in the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I should go.